Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the Doctors of HCA Virginia. Today in Neighborhood Health Watch, we're talking about autism and help that's available. It affects one in 68 children. Boys are four to five times more likely to be diagnosed than girls. It's the fastest growing developmental disorder and the most underfunded. Children with autism do progress, but early intervention is key. And doctors say autism is a spectrum of disorders and not just one thing. Dr. Gail Smith with Henrico Doctors Hospital is here to talk with us more about this. Now, what is it that you want people to know about autism? I think one of the most important things your viewers need to remember is that autism isn't just one thing. It's a wide spectrum and it's very difficult to, to diagnose. And when you talk about autism, uh, it's not a hopeless condition, it's treatable. It's not curable, but it is treatable. Talk about treatment options. Well, autism is actually a neurobiological condition, mm -hmm. and we know that the brain itself develops differently in the ways in which it takes information in, mm -hmm. processes it, and the way the brain communicates with the world around. And so children with autism are diagnosed um, through a series of screening screenings and they happen at every checkup when children come to the doctor's offices. And what about parents? Uh, if you are a parent and you suspect that your child might be diagnosed with autism, what should they do? Parents need to remember that there are so many resources in our community and there's no need at all to go it alone. Find a pediatrician or a physician, a health care provider that you trust to help coordinate a team of specialists and therapists that help children live up to their fullest potential. How does a person get diagnosed? What's involved in that process? The process is not made, uh, or the diagnosis is not made with one visit as a general rule. There are a series of visits and screening that occur over a period of time. And, and uh, when you talk about uh, resources, that's always a big problem. It's, it's, it's underfunded. What resources are available in the community? In our community, we have a rich cooperative of therapists, occupational therapists, physical therapists, speech and language therapists, as well as applied behavioral therapists, all of whom work with children who have autism. All right, Dr. Gail Smith, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank we you appreciate for it. Me.